Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. On this day, November 25th in 1930, Mississippi Governor Theodore Bilbo signed an executive proclamation that officially delisted Rodney, Mississippi as a city. Rodney was once the busiest port between New Orleans and St. Louis. Founded as a French settlement in 1763, Rodney missed being named the capital of Mississippi Territory by a mere three votes. The city was named for Thomas Rodney, a federal judge of the Mississippi Territory in 1803 to 1811, and a brother of Caesar Rodney, a signer of the Declaration of Independence. Incorporated in 1828, Rodney rivaled Natchez and Vicksburg in wealth with a population of about 4,000 in the 1850s. At one time, the city boasted two banks, some 35 stores, hotels, two newspapers, doctor's offices, tinsmiths, wagon makers, and of course saloons. It was a powerful business and cultural center on the Mississippi River, dotted with schools, lecture halls, impressive churches, and Mississippi's first opera house. But in the 1870s, the river changed its course, leaving Rodney high and dry. Railroads and highways bypassed the town, and Rodney was hit with two devastating yellow fever epidemics in the 19th century. Already in decline by 1930, Governor Bilbo, with a stroke of a pen, pushed the town to near extinction. This is Dr. Buck Brumfield at Riverside Veterinary Care Center. I'm originally from Rodney. My family has lived there for many generations, and my father still lives there today. This has been your Natchez History Minute.